<laughs> ah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, the, the the pilgrims got word of the brown mountain saucer and heard none of this in the um the old London, old England's, except for you know, the most fantasy that here is the werewolves, um, or uh, uh, you know, vampires and things like that. They would they'd, they'd hear of uh, earth devils, earth demons, and you know things like heaven and hell and such. Not as much as the uh, flying saucer space aliens, it's uh, the brown mountains that would travel. Of course, they have reservation out in the Midwest, but or upstate New York is uh, uh, here another one in the uh, Adirondacks these days. If you are hiking the state parks or any kind of parks and forests and things, if you are a ranger, a new one, it says, "Oh yeah, well no, that's that's extraterrestrial reservation lands over there. That's where they." They'd be a temporarily, uh, you know, partnership for grounds on this planet. So, uh, while they're doing studies and surveying the lands, etc., so men would survey the skies a thousand years in this area. See the Brown Mountain saucer lights of New England. They show up uh, late August for the Indian summer and um, leave before leave before winter. You know, you know it's just steadily dispersed throughout fall. The wares haven't changed since the uh, Catfish Junk video on the little camp that he had was uh, Sleepy alligator coming up around the riverbed mama Talking about the times that we